What's up everybody, welcome to the channel and we're going to kick things off with the F-14 versus MiG-29 match which is game 45 in the tournament. And there we have the merge and um, I was kind of excited to see this one because they're both very very capable aircraft. And uh, you know I, I think that based on what I know about them both I think it would be fairly even but then from what I saw in the F-15 versus F-14 match I, I kind of think the MiG-29 has the advantage um, but I don't know for sure uh, so I was kind of excited about this one and they both do seem to starting off they do seem to be fairly evenly matched um, there would be times when I thought one or the other had uh, had an advantage and then it turned out they didn't but you know I also kind of learned to love this. I, I haven't used it much in the past because it looks too much like an arcade camera view. But I, I kind of learned to love uh, this alternate F4 view. Um, especially when I could use the mouse and my head tracking. I've never used it with head tracking before. But um, it, it helped me kind of keep track of the, uh, the, the other aircraft. But also keep the camera in position where I wanted it so so it was kinda nice so as you can see it's yeah it's pretty pretty even it looks like at times the F-14 has an advantage and I think there's some times um, when the MiG-29 does and certainly when the MiG-29 could have when either of them could have probably taken more advantage if they'd have flown a little bit differently I think so um, now of course when <laughs> I say that um, I'm, I'm kind of armchair uh, fighter piloting the AI in every single one of these videos. Whoa, that was quick. That was quick. I didn't really see that very well. We'll try to watch it again here, but um, every single one of these videos, I kind of, I kind of armchair quarterback a little bit or armchair fighter pilot because whenever I'm in the seat, I, I don't do a lot of the things that I talk about. So, uh, yeah, that one was hard to see. It didn't really f um, seem like it, uh, it was a quick shot. It was a really good shot. So. So he's he's still flying away, but um, uh, I thought okay no I thought the F-14 was chasing after him, but he's not. I would. Oh, and there we go, there we go. He's he's bailed out. So so that's that, and uh, we'll watch that in tack view now, and and then move on to the next match. Okay, so let's uh, let's check this out in tack view. Um, we're going to speed this up. Now this fight took a while, so we'll, um, we'll watch most of it sped up, but I do like, I, I always like seeing how close they get. These guys got within 61 feet, 51 feet, ooh, 50 feet. Man, if he was up there inverted, he could give him the bird. Um, okay, and they're both going vertical, and the MiG-29, um, is very agile, and, and throughout, you know, throughout this fight, um, I kind of felt like, oh, I don't remember there being shots there, and it says it hit him, um, so I don't know if tack view's off here, or what, but that F-14 at that particular angle cannot make that shot can't take that shot at all so uh, I don't really know what's going on with that but I don't remember shots being fired there either of course he's he's kind of traveling that way I don't I don't know it may have the angle off here in tag view I'm not really for sure but anyway um, throughout this fight it looked like you know one might have the advantage or the other and then it would kind of go away the advantage would go away and you see they they just always um, kind of merge with each other and I don't know if that's a function of the AI you know I, I, it seems to be um, sort of a function of the AI in these fights because um, they tend to fly towards the other target not necessarily you know and I'm not saying they never take strategic decisions or, or tactical decisions or um, anything like that but they do seem to fly uh, if they get their nose around 
on their opponent, they, they seem to kind of fly at the opponent instead of trying to get in a position behind them or, or something like that. So uh, there winds up being more merges than I think need to happen. Um, and then here, the, the MiG-29 just sort of relaxed a little bit, I think. Well, maybe not. Sometimes from the angle that I'm looking at, it looks like they're they're not turning as sharp as they need to. So in this particular situation, this is one of those where I kind of thought the MiG could uh, could get an advantage here, um, or had an advantage. And then, of course, the, the F-14s go in uh, pretty slow, but he like stalled out or kind of did a rudder turn there and got his nose turned around a little bit more, headed a different direction. So, I don't know. It's just kind of, hopefully you guys can tell more than I can from these tack view things. <clears throat> and there again, um, like the MiG's not in a, in, you know, just an absolutely amazing position, but it seems like he's got the advantage here. <clears throat> and uh, I kind of feel like, if he would have started turning earlier, which maybe he couldn't have, but if he if he could have turned in earlier and got in behind the uh, the F-14 a little bit, that might have been advantageous. Uh, maybe. But he's kind of flying sort of like the F-15 was against the F-14. Which the F-15, the F-15 was probably in uh, better positions relative to the F-14 than this MiG is, uh, and then just ran out of fuel. But Now here, the F-14 is in a more advantageous position. And there it is. That <laughs> That's that quick snapshot kill. Now, I don't know, like that, that seems like some shenanigans. But, uh, but anyway, he, he was in an advantageous position. He was certainly in the position, but um, it just seemed like, uh, I don't know, that was, that was quite the shot. He's a sniper for sure. Okay, and our F-18 versus F-86. This is uh, match 46. And the F-18 climbs. Definitely should be able to outclimb that that F-86. They both went vertical. F-86 looks like he had about half the half the half loop height as the F-18 there, roughly. Um, He's, he's fallen behind here. I don't know if he'll be able to tuck in and get close enough to shoot uh, the F-18. The F-18, you know, has the speed and the power and, and definitely some agility. Um, the F-86 is going slower, so has uh, certainly has the capability to stay in behind the F-18, I think. But um, I think if the F-18 does its job here, he can probably avoid getting shot. At least for longer. Of course, he's going to run out of fuel first, too. I would... Well, yeah, yeah, he should. He should. Uh, this isn't looking good, though. The guy... I don't understand why... He's just kind of flying straight and just doing a loop here, it looks like. And he's even... Uh, like, this F uh, F-86 is closing in, being on the inside there. Ooh, nice hits. Just real quick burst. I like it. And he's still in position. Uh, might have got yeah looks like some hits there Let's see it from this view see if he gets any more shots here yeah f-18 still flying pretty good uh, but it looks like this f-86 is just closing in for the kill definitely closing in for the kill oh and there they are the F F-18 kind of flew right into his uh, gun sights there. He's missing some parts. <laughs> He's still flying, but... Hmm, what is he doing, I wonder? The F-86 is not chasing at the moment. I think the pilot might be dead. He's not making any corrections, and he's not bailing out, so yeah, I think he's dead. Ooh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, whoops. Alright, so we'll watch that intact view.
All right, F86 versus F18. Okay, right off the bat here, you can see this half loop uh, is obviously a lot smaller than this one. And this, this F18 kind of relaxed a little bit, it looks like, and flew straight up for a minute before pulling on over. And uh, so we wind up, oh, about 2,000 feet higher with similar speed. The F8, uh, F86 doesn't have the power, obviously. but um, So the F18 kind of pulls the loop over. The F-86 sort of, I don't know if it stalls out there a little bit or just rudders over and uh, does a, a little bit of a roll, tucks in behind the F-8, uh, F-18. And then right here, this F-86 is um, just inside the loop, closing the gap. And especially as the F-18 starts to climb and this guy sort of bottoms out the gap is closing and at this point you'll you'll notice that this uh, f18 is not it's it's doing pitch only pretty much uh, it's just pitching up um, the the f18 with, with somebody like in this uh, with somebody in this position tucked in nicely uh, lead pursuit a thousand feet away, twelve hundred feet away, you really need to input some roll or some yaw or something. You got to do something to get out of that position. Um, I don't know that that little roll that they both did was in the video. I don't remember seeing it, uh, but the F-86 does a great job with trigger control. Uh, pops a shot, gets gets in lag pursuit. Uh, it looks like, although that shot hit, so I don't know. Of course, the the guns pointed up a little bit. Guns are should be pointed up slightly, so that's possible. Um, and it is just still tucked in nicely back here with a couple of just really short bursts. As the F-18 dives, it pulls away, but then as it levels off at the bottom of the loop, it's gonna, the F-86 is gonna uh, go ahead and close up a little bit. Mostly because, I mean, you'll notice that its speed is less than the F-18, but it's inside the turn circle. This is a vertical turn circle and it's inside, so um, and it's pulling lead right now, so it's going to be able to close the distance. Um, and again, the F-18 is not doing any kind of out-of-plane maneuvers to, uh, to bust that up. So the F-86 is going to get in uh, well under 1,000. And, oh, and then the, the F-18 just pitch, like relaxes the pitch a little bit and goes straight up asking to die. And I don't remember the F-86 doing any of that business, but that looks like some celebratory rolling uh, there. And, and that's that. All right, here we have the Demigorgon JF-17 versus the Albatross, L-39 Albatross. And I might have given the L-39 a disadvantage in the last match he played. Because um, I think I switched it to the C model because it had air-to-air -air weapons, and I was trying to make it fight a little more. I, I wanted it to actually fight. Um, and I don't know if it had guns. I It may not have. I, I looked in trying to get this one to have guns, and I couldn't see that it... Uh, well, I tried to put the C model in on this one to try to give it guns, and I, I didn't see that it had any, so I switched to the uh, ZA, and, uh, and it had guns. So I put it in. It's fighting. So I, I hope that I didn't inadvertently uh, get it put in the loser's bracket without giving it a fair chance in the last match, but I may have. Um, I'm not going to redo it, but um, sorry to you L39 fans if if I did that. That wasn't my intention. So we get some pot shots. Uh, there were just definitely some hits there. Um, and this gets a little bit boring because they do a lot of the the flying at each other so I, I cut a lot of the flying around out and just tried to put the passes in I think there's one in here where they don't shoot but uh, the JF-17 gets some shots back then they turn around fly around a bit and, and do it all again so here from the JF-17 perspective uh, this one might be one of the passes where they don't shoot at all which they had several of those I didn't show them all but oh nope he shot just missed
this is a fight that I would assume um, I would assume that the JF-17 should be able to win this fight. I, but again, the uh, okay, there's the one where you don't didn't shoot at each other. Uh, again, the the uh, L-39 can can turn pretty well slower. Um, so I I don't know I don't know. The JF-17 definitely has some advantages though. We have some more shots there. So this kept going on. They didn't shoot. They had several passes where they didn't shoot. And then this happened. The JF-17 just decided to slow down and go prep for a landing with this guy still behind him and angry. Um, so he walked some bullets on. And then... Oh! What was he doing? And the frames are terrible. Uh, I don't know exactly who bailed out first. I'm giving the win to the uh, L-39. But let's watch that again in slow motion, just because it's cool. And it looks like he kind of walks the bullets down onto him, and it looks like if he would have just continued downward, uh, the L39 would have been safe, or if he would have, if he would have been in a better position anyway, so he didn't have to try to go below him. But he he tries to pull back up. Uh, okay, so the JF17 pilot bails first, which is fine. I mean that makes sense. And then crack. That's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, man, it's a murder suicide, fellas. So, uh, so yeah. Sorry to the JF-17 fans. It, it seems like there's a lot of you guys out there, and I I don't blame you. It's kind of a cool aircraft, but he's uh, he's out of the bracket. L-39 Albatross took him out, uh, and then tried to take himself out, and did take himself out, but uh, at least gets to fight again in the next round. Um, so we'll watch these guys bail and then we'll watch it as fast as we can in tack view just to see that again in a different, uh, in a different form. L39 and JF17. We're going to speed this up. There was a lot of the usual um, shenanigans. So we'll speed that up 10x because we, we had some looping down around there. I don't, I don't know that I care to evaluate that that much. And then we had this normal stuff. Um, this one's probably not even worth watching in tack view. Um, I mean, there were there were these shots, you know, a couple of shots there where the L39, uh, I think, fired that time, and then I think the next time, the JF17 does it. I believe, yep, and got some hits. It says uh, by the end of this, the JF17 did have some damage on it. I didn't really notice as much on the L39. But yeah, a lot of this isn't really worth watching because um, it's just a lot of this flying out and back, out and back roller coaster type stuff. Some more shots fired. This stuff gets kind of boring, honestly. It doesn't help if I'm not talking at all, but uh, there's really nothing much to say. And then I think, oh, there it goes. So here's here's the only part that really kind of got interesting, and I don't know that it got that interesting. But not only did the JF-17 fly straight, it slowed down. So the L-39 is m making full speed, and this guy's slowing down. So Let's see what happens here. We all know what happens here, but there it is. Ooh, and boom. So it's showing it a little bit different. And of course, a lot of these shots went over, but he he walked it in there. 
and then this is this is a little bit off because if you remember right in the video he hit over here and really the JF-17's wing should have been damaged as well I believe but that's that's essentially what happened there huh it's sort of weird it's not showing the ejection from the JF-17 and then shows this weird block there there it goes okay so anyway that was the only interesting part of the whole deal it's a little weird there in tack view but whatever okay spitfire versus mig 21 and this is round or match 48 and this one obviously we're gonna see kind of the same thing they're gonna fly the fast one's going to fly out, the slow one's going to give chase, the fast one's going to turn around and fly back towards the slow one, and they're going to shoot at each other a couple of times, probably. So, I was kind of surprised uh, the MiG-21 didn't climb, uh, but then again, I don't know if it would have given it any more advantage over doing another merge. Okay, so the Spitfire's always good for some shots, that's what I like about it. Besides it being just an absolutely gorgeous plane, I say that every time I see it fly or put it in one of my videos. Oh, missed shots. Okay. That's alright. He tried. Now I'm wondering how many shots the, uh, the Spitfire would have to put into the MiG to, to get it down. Now, consequently, and I talked about this in another video, the, uh, oh, there it is, the MiG-21's gun is very similar, or basically the same as the JF-17. But I didn't see the tracers there, I just saw the, the bullets, uh, the, the puffs of smoke from the firing, and then the, uh, the impact or result of the impact. But, uh, no big surprise the MiG-21's gonna move on. Okay, and now we've got the MiG-19, which has really been putting some more modern aircraft out of commission. And we've got the K-50, which other than the first match, has just been nailing people on the merge. So, looks like the MiG-19 has climbed and now is coming down a little bit. Let's just go into slow motion, because, yeah, we knew this was about to happen. Can the K-50 take this guy out? Pitches up. And there it is. Trains that cannon on him. Looks like a little bit of maybe some missed shots there. And then got him with some. Oh, and we have an, obje an ejection. That's that. This guy's moving on again. He may make it to the end. So I apologize that last match was uh, the MiG-20, uh, MiG-19, sorry, and the K-50. That was in the winner's bracket, which was match 49, and now we're on match 50, which is the Su-33 versus the F-5. And this could be interesting. Um, I, I tend to think that the Su-33 has the advantage here, but I don't know that for a fact. I'm um, flanker family of aircraft are pretty maneuverable, but you know and fast and uh, but they're big and the F5 I don't know as much about it but it seems like it's it's pretty agile so it, it could be an interesting match um, and, and it was an interesting match um, this is another one where they were pretty even I think uh, from time to time one or the other could have uh, gained an advantage but they did a lot of merges they flew around I left more of this video in than uh, than I typically want to but it was kind of interesting, and and they they started getting really really close to each other. I don't know exactly how close, but there were a couple of merges that they just looked like they were trying to play chicken with each other. Now I tried to confuse the Su-33 a little bit by uh, slapping the F-5 in the the old MiG-28 skin, uh, but he wasn't fooled. Here they're doing some kind of, uh, they're just sort of mirroring each other a little bit. And definitely in this particular case, it looks like the SU-33 is 
is uh, winning the um, the turning battle a little bit. But again, they and I say this all the time, it looks like the AI, and these are high, I've got these all set on high uh, skill level. They, they seem to, if they win that rate battle and they get their nose around first, it's, it's almost like they stop turning and they just point at the other aircraft or, or they turn enough just to keep their nose kind of on the aircraft. So it always results in a merge instead of them trying to do something else with their position. Um, ooh, that was close. Okay, I think this might be the final pass. I think. Oh, man. And then, uh, yeah, they collided there, so... Um, I don't... Uh, there may have been shots fired in this match, but anyway, that... that <laughs> uh, SC-33's missing a horizontal stab. I think that's it. Um... Let's watch that again in slow motion. The F5 was going for blood here. The SU-33 looks like he's trying to get away, kind of. And, uh, oh, <laughs> he, goes, he goes through the body. Lost a wing and a stab. So, the F5 unfortunately took more damage there. It looked like the SU-33 should have, but, uh, uh, he's going to move on with just missing some small parts there. 